Hey guys, just doing a quick video just talking about the Igor Vitenko uh, workout because I'm trying to get some of you boys onto it because I fucking think it's brilliant. Um, but without further ado, I'm going to show you one of the days. It's the abs. Probably abs are one of the easiest ones out of all of them. But uh, that's, I mean, it's saying something because they're all fucking hard. So I missed one, ex uh, the very first exercise. Then I went through it. I'm gonna go, like gonna fast through a lot of it. Um, do this video to show off, but also to inspire to get you guys into it as well. All right, let's fucking get ripped, guys. All right. So the first three exercise, three sets that you missed was alternating bicycle crunches, and uh, now we're moving into normal crunches with a one second delay at the top. Um, just to give you some sort of intel on how I'm feeling right now, it's very good. Uh, but as you can see, the 10 second breaks in between go very fast. It feels like it's in fast forward. Um, I hope you enjoy this as much as I do guys and let's get back into the video. All right, guys, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to fast forward through the breaks as much as possible so I can make this video as short as possible, just so you can see the content. And we're moving into uh, this time is mountain you climber want me to knee lifts. This one because you're doing Probably great. one of my favorite ones because you can really get a, a nice a nice flex on the, on the abs. I've done like a bunch of mountain climbers before, but that extra lift at the end makes a huge, huge difference. All right, guys, back into the exercise. All right, so by this stage, if you're not feeling it now, then you're even more of a machine than I am. Those 10 second breaks come by quick and fast, and then, and then you're back into it again. But don't worry, I think after this exercise, we'll be having a one minute or one and a half minute break. All right, so I was mistaken. There will be one more exercise before the break. I really love this exercise, actually. Reverse crunches, um, just done on the floor. Try not to use your arms, as he says, and lift with those abs. Smashing it, guys. I hope you guys get into it as well. Let's do this. So after this set, you get a well-deserved one minute rest. This is a great chance to do some stretching as you'll see here. And then we go straight into leg circles. Just remember to alternate the sides um, after it, with each set. And then um, on the last set, what I do is I, as you'll see, I'll alternate, um, I'll alternate after five, five reps. I think that's the, the best way to do it, to keep it even. All right, so we're heading into the second last exercise, which is alternating crunches, like towards each leg. We're gonna alternate the legs, um, and that's pretty much it. My, you have to forgive me, my form's not the greatest, uh, but I am pretty fatigued.
All right, now we're heading into the very last exercise of this ab routine. It is bicycle kicks with crunch. I love this exercise. It gives you a really nice, really nice uh, flex on those abs. Um, I can definitely feel my abs coming through. Just got to get rid of maybe about four to five percent of body fat, and then you will see them. But guys, after doing this, I just have to let you know very quickly that I have got down to my goal weight, but I want to uh, continue building some muscle. So I'm going to lose that rest of the body fat, gain some muscle, I'm going to stick around the 85 kilogram mark. So come on, get in there, do it with me. All right, so while you're watching me do my very last set, I just have to say that Igor Vitenko is my fucking hero. And, dude, you guys are going to love getting in shape with this guy. I always have the theory judged by results, not by theory. And I want the body that this guy has got. So I'm just going to push on and keep doing what he's doing because if you do so, you're going to get the results. All right, let's do this, guys. So that's how it's done. Prior to making these videos, I um, was doing the Chloe Ting challenge. I did two or three Chloe Ting challenges before moving on to Igor Vitenko, and it's just going to another another level. Uh, what I'm going to show you now, because I'm on day 28 or 29, um, I think day tomorrow is day 29. I'm going to show you what the last days look like, as follows, and. Doing one of these is hard enough for 15 minutes. Doing back to back is absolutely brutal. I'm going to um, do some videos to show you what it's uh, what it's all about and, and how hard it is. But um, it's, it's fucking mental. It's mental. So um, uh, hopefully you get on board. Uh, don't be scared. Um, I, I'm going to show you that I can't. I don't have the best technique with everything. But um, you just have to give it a try and just just give it your 110%, whatever you can. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. That's Igor Vitenko, my fucking hero. And guys, I hope you get on board and uh, do it with me.